What's up everybody, it's Lawrence. So, uh, this is going to be my first DIY shoe project. Normally, uh, the craziest thing I do with sneakers is usually cleaning them. Um, also, just to address some people from my last video on the review of these, which I will leave a link below, these are the grade school version of the Levi's collaboration, so they only have two holes. Uh, over here and some of the proportions are a little bit different than the men's version uh, but what i am going to do today is going to try to fray some of these i'm going to try it on one shoe first and see how it all works but uh, ultimately my tools of uh, diy are an exacto knife which i think i'm just going to start making incisions on um, and also a scissor to fray. Uh, I've heard that using sandpaper is also a really great thing to have, uh, but I don't have any right now, but if I really need to finish it or refine it, I can do that later. What I'm planning on doing is, is really just uh, messing with the fraying on, on some of these stitches, the, the, some of the stitches over here. I'm not actually going to dig too deep into it. I don't want it to look too uh, distressed. The, the goal here is to first scrape this on and off, make small little incisions first, and then scrape that to make it a little wider and then um, using a scissor over here to hopefully also kind of get that a little wider as well. Uh, it should be easier to scrape with a scissor than the exacto knife, which is basically used for cutting. So uh, I'm pretty much done. I, uh, I don't want to fray these too much, and I kind of wanted to, to show you what this looked like after wiping off some of the, uh, the material that came off. But for the most part, it's, uh, it's pretty minimal. I didn't, I didn't really want to do too much, like I said. I just wanted to, to fray it just a bit to look like it has some wear, but I, I do like how it came out already. I might just do a little more, uh, just for comparison's sake. It's like feathers everywhere. Um, this is what it looks like without and then this is what it looks like with just a little bit of fraying which I think looks a little bit better if you can look at that very closely uh, I did most of it along the edge over here and the main reason for that is is because that's where most people are gonna end up seeing I didn't want to do too much in the back here just because I, I there's already fraying that you can see over there that uh, Levi's had done on our behalf already so I might I might just go over this a little bit more uh, but I'm actually pretty happy with the results already I, don't, I also don't want to damage the shoe too much because I don't want the seams coming out so uh, but this is both sides of the shoe done so I, I started to scrape my technique out a little better I was actually able to scrape a lot more cleanly on the second shoe you can see that it looks like that all over here um, and then I got some scraping done up here as well I say scraping because like for the most part you're not really cut you know the first one I tried to cut it but you're just really trying to get some of the material off and so you know you can see it kind of flying all over the place whenever I do it um, but I don't want to go too tough. I, you know, this is as far as I'm going to go because I do like the shape of the shoe and I don't really want to ruin it. Um, and then this is my first one. You can look at, you can actually tell the difference. So like this is me trying to cut it and you can see that it actually frays a little less uniformly. And so if you like this look, I would actually dig into it and just kind of flick out. And this is what's causing that pattern. Whereas over there is much more of a scraping action that you saw earlier. So you can see the differences between the shoes. Um, not that noticeable, I'd say, for the most part, but, you know, you can see that definitely that over here there's a little more raise to it, whereas over here it's a little more clean when it comes down to it. Um, but I, I, that's really about it. Uh, you know, hopefully you guys like this review, and if you have a pair, it'd be kind of cool to see what you guys do uh, on your shoes, send me pictures or anything like that, that'd be sick. Um, but I think I'm done here. I don't necessarily want to go too far and too deep with the, uh, the modifications because I think this is such a clean-looking shoe, so... That's it, guys. Until next time. Peace.